Good morning, everyone. <laughs> I want us to think about two phrases. I'm going to give you the first one. A lot of us will know what the phrase means, but it might not make sense when we actually think about it. And that phrase is break a leg. You see, I think we often say this phrase, or well, a lot of us do, and we think we know what it means because we know it in its context. Without context, the phrase break a leg is ridiculous. You're telling you want someone to be injured? But no, in context, the second phrase is good luck. And when you say break a leg, good luck, it makes sense. Everyone knows what you mean because you're telling someone good luck. In context, we know what it means, but without the context, we know the words, but it doesn't really make sense. We don't get the same meaning. In this passage today that we're looking at, we understand that there's actually a similar thing happening in the Bible. You see, in the Old Testament, we know the words, we can read it, but without the context of knowing what it means through Jesus, it seems a bit confusing. It seems strange. And so, thanks to Jesus, we know the context. Just like we know break a leg means good luck, we know that the Old Testament points forward to Jesus and helps us explain who Jesus is. And so when we think about the Old Testament, it makes sense. It's connected. It's not something separate and strange and untalked about. It's good and it's helpful. And so the Bible is one unity. It's connected. It's one story that we can all read. Thank you.